Coach Kevin Donnelly with St. Francis getting ready to hit the road here for a couple games. It starts with uh, Quincy, and this is no short trip. <laughs> Long trip, seven-hour bus trip, 14 hours on a bus trip. I'm miserable on Sunday, you know, about 2 in the morning. <laughs> um, yeah, it, you know, it's, it's also good, I think. It's a good bonding experience for the guys to be together that long. Cut down travel squad a little bit so we could uh, each have a seat and, and uh, try to relax as much as possible. Watch a bunch of good movies and, and uh, have time together when we get to the hotel. So, yeah, you know, long trip. Uh, football team, I think it's three and three in their transition to Division II. Um, you know, they've always had some good teams in the past. They've, they've had a lot of transfers. Last time we played, it was about three years ago, they had a receiver transfer from Indiana. Uh, their quarterback is a Western Illinois or Southern Illinois transfer. So, you know, they've, they've got some players. Uh, you know, we'll have to go out and play good football. And is the game plan the same as usually is, not so much what they do, but what you guys do? Yeah, I, I mean, we're like anybody else right now. It's about what you do. And, um, you know, I thought last week we made some changes defensively. Uh, we're going against an option football team, which is different. You know, you got to play assignment football. This week we're going against the spread, you know, throw it all over the place. So, you know, we've adjusted some things again. Um, offensively, you know, still working at uh, execution level and taking care of the football. A week ago, we, uh, I, I thought it was a, uh, a, a experience where we matured had some turnovers early, made a stop, held them to a field goal, got a turnover back, scored, and um, the momentum change that we created was very positive for us. Um, I thought they were a very good defense and um, did a good job. And obviously part of that big win, uh, getting back one of your big playmakers, Austin Coleman, and he definitely made his presence felt. How much does that? Uh, how much does that help your team? Well, we were shocked that he got released on Friday of last week. He said, "Go ahead, you know." We took him off a kickoff return. We put him in one play and ran him vertically for a score. So he was one for one. Uh, he has been back in practice full time this week. We're still pretty cautious, trying to keep him out of full contact situations. But you know, he's such a playmaker, has such great speed. Uh, his presence on the field demands your attention. So having him back is very, very big. And at this point, it, it just seems like it's all about just keep building that confidence day, each game. Is, would you agree? Yeah, it, it is, Ross, definitely. You know, we, um, we started our season, you know, knowing that the first uh, five out of six football games were going to be a tremendous challenge. Really didn't get an opportunity to, to get a lot of confidence and continuity going. We were getting thrown right in the fire. Um, we're playing some football teams right now that obviously deserve respect. Taylor being one, Quincy being one, Central State, uh, you know, we've never played before. I don't know a lot about them yet, but I know that um, in the past they've had some great, great football players. But, uh, you know, we've we got to take them one at a time, Quincy first, and uh, continue to build, continue to get healthy. Uh, looks like uh, Eli Alfagianis, offensive tackle, we lost against Walsh, you know, we'll have back against Taylor. We were shocked Dr. Hicks did his magic there. So that's been a real boost uh, to everybody to have him back in, uh, on the field. He practiced this week. And we're going to be careful and keep him out uh, for another week. And being banged up, you, some other guys have gotten some opportunities, and we saw this last week. Uh, you know, Josh Miller comes in, makes a couple of big plays. Is that, uh, I guess, one of the big positives you can take out of your guys being banged up? We knew Miller was a, was a heck of an athlete, you know, and uh, was doing very well at quarterback and then, you know, had a shoulder separation in his throwing arm. That's tough to recover and get back into it. He's such a good athlete when uh, Coleman goes out, Kobe Fry is hurt, and then we lose B.J. Moore. I mean, all of a sudden, inside receiver position, we're, we're down. So we moved him there, and being a quarterback, he knows everybody's position. So it was a natural transition for him, and uh, man, he's a playmaker. He can do some things.